I just got an exciting new idea for a video. Using NVIDIA, I'll type in my idea as a prompt, hit generate, and watch as the AI brings my exciting new idea to life. NVIDIA takes your prompt and it does everything for you. It creates the script, adds captions, music, narration, and it even licenses stock footage for your project automatically. And if you don't like something in the video, you can give the AI feedback and watch as your video is revised in real time. Then, once you're finished, you can translate and dub your video into over 50 languages. With just one command, I can instruct the AI to translate and dub my video into Japanese, for example. Now, let's preview it and see how it turned out. Kurage no yuge na ugoki kara sango kyo no sanyaka na iroma de umi no ikimono tachi wa watashi tachi no sho. That's me fluently speaking Japanese with real time captions. How cool is that? I'm Caleb, and in this video, I'll teach you how to use all these exciting AI features within NVIDIA and much more. To get started, first click the link at the top of this video's description. There, you can sign up for NVIDIA and make sure that you're getting the best available deal. And once you've clicked on that link, you'll be brought to this page. Just go ahead and click on Generate Video Now. Then you can input your information here on the left hand side. Go ahead and do that, and I'll meet you at the next step. Then once you've created your account, you'll be brought to this screen. This is where you can actually input your video prompt to begin generating your video. But before we do that, there's a couple important things I want to do first. The first thing will be choosing a plan. And to do that, I'll go to the top right here and click on upgrade. When you make your account, you'll be operating on the free plan, which is extremely limited. I would highly recommend upgrading to the plus plan. This is gonna get you access to exciting features like voice cloning, getting unlimited exports, and being able to actually license stock footage. I'll switch from yearly to monthly and click on get plus. Go ahead and input your payment information here and then click on subscribe to move on. Now, to make sure that you're getting access to every single feature within NVIDIA, you'll want to turn on your beta features. To do this, navigate to the top right here and click on Settings. We'll go ahead and toggle on beta features. And now you'll have access to every single feature within NVIDIA. Then click on Create New to begin generating your video. To get started, first, let's go ahead and choose our model. You can see here there's three different options to choose from. I would just go with the most recent one here. In my case, that's V3.0. Choosing the latest model will get you access to the most features and the highest quality video. So in my case, I'll click on V3.0. Then you can choose to type in your prompt manually here or go with a pre-made workflow. If you go below right here and click on workflows, you'll see a ton of different options available to you. You could go with an explainer video, a short video, or a listicle, for example. Scrolling down, the options are really limitless here. For this video, I'll be typing in my prompt manually, but the workflows are really helpful for when you're first starting out. Now to begin generating my video, I'll simply copy and paste a prompt that I wrote before this video. This says to create a YouTube short discussing the biggest sea creatures throughout history and that the music should be dark and mysterious. Now, this is obviously a very short prompt. If I look down here, I can actually write up to 32,000 characters. This means that I can tell in video everything about my video project, everything from the voiceover style, the music, the caption style, whether it's for TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, you can tell the AI every single thing about your video to get it just right. From my experience, it's best to be very direct with the AI. You don't want to overload it with information, but for all the important aspects of your video project, make sure you include those within your prompt. Now, if I were to click on generate a video, the narrator for this prompt would just be a standard AI voice, which does sound really good, but since I upgraded my subscription earlier on in this video, I have access to voice cloning which means that I can upload a sample recording of my voice to make it sound like I'm actually narrating this YouTube short. To clone your voice, simply click on plugins right here and then click on AI voice clone. And then you'll click on add voice right here. And this is where you'll upload your sample recording. There are some instructions to follow here before you do your voice recording, but once you're ready, go ahead and click on choose file. I have my voice recording ready to go, so I'll double click on it to upload. That recording will upload to NVIDIA. I'll click on all of these boxes here to confirm that I have the rights to this voice and that it follows all of the instructions seen before. And once I'm ready, I'll click on my sample looks good and NVIDIA will now clone my voice. 
NVIDIA will analyze the recording and confirm everything is good. And once it's ready, I'll click on done. Since this is the voice that I wanna use for my video, I'll click on use. And then I'll simply copy and paste my prompt in again with the new voice clone settings active. Now that my voice is cloned and my prompt is written, I can finally generate my video. To do that, I'll go to the bottom right here and click on generate a video. And now the NVIDIA AI is going to create our video project. Now that the NVIDIA AI has analyzed our prompt, it has a few questions about our project before it finishes generating the video. Here we can choose between stock media or generative media. I'm gonna keep this on stock media. We can choose our duration, our audience and platform. I'm happy with all these settings. So I'll click on continue here. Now we'll be able to see our video generated in real time. Depending on the complexity of your video project, this can take anywhere from a few minutes to up to an hour. So I'll fast forward and meet you at the next step. Our video is now ready, so let's go ahead and check it out and see what the AI came up with. Everybody is looking for the biggest fish in the sea, but what about the biggest ever? From the ancient megalodon, a shark bigger than a bus, to the colossal blue whale, the largest animal ever known, the ocean has housed some real titans. Wow, as you can see, the AI did everything for us. It took the prompt we gave it earlier, made a script out of it, it then found stock footage to match the script, it created the narration using my voice clone, added captions and music, and edited everything together for us. Now, what happens if you don't like something within the video? For example, here, if I go back, I'm not a huge fan of this caption style. NVIDIA makes it super easy. Go below here and you can actually give a command to edit the video further. To edit the caption style here, I'll simply type, make three words appear on screen at once and have the active word highlighted in yellow. I'm happy with that revision, so I'll click on generate. And now the AI is gonna go back through the video again and fix the captions. It's now completed the revision, so let's play the video again to see how it looks now. How some real titans. These sea beasts ruled the depths, capturing our imaginations. As you can see, it perfectly executed the revision I gave it. This feature allows you to work with the AI to really dial in your video and make quick revisions. But if you want more manual control over the content within your video, click on the edit button seen here. From here, you can see each piece of stock footage that the AI chose for your video, and you can choose to replace it with your own media, a different piece of stock footage, or generative media. And if you want to change out the media that the AI chose for your video, it's super easy. Once you have one selected here, click on stock media, and you'll have an entire stock footage library to choose from. I like this piece of stock footage here, so I'll click on replace, and you'll see above that it's changed out right here. I'm happy with this, so I'll click on apply, and now that piece of stock footage has been successfully changed out. From here, you can also change out your music by clicking on the music tab here. Here you can choose to change out the music with your own uploaded music, and they also have additional stock music for you to choose from as well. Next, if we click on script here at the top, we can actually alter our video script. And the coolest thing about this, in my opinion, is if you highlight a word and you change it out, it doesn't only change the script, it actually changes the narration as well. So if you're unhappy with how the AI worded something in your video, you can quickly change it out here. And finally, let's check out the settings tab. Here you can change out some small miscellaneous settings for your video project. I'm happy with the changes I've made so far. So I'm gonna to go to the bottom right here and click on save changes. And if you wanna export your project to a timeline similar to a software like Adobe Premiere Pro, you can do that as well. Click on the download button here and then click on export project to timeline. And now we have our AI generated video in a timeline editor. To expand the timeline, let's go down here and drag it up to the top to make it bigger. And now we can see each part of our video as a layer. We have our voiceover, our music, our stock footage, and our captions. And this allows you to really dial in and make those refined manual edits if you want a specific look or feel in your video. Once you're done using the timeline editor, go to the top left and under history, find your project here and click into it. Earlier during this video's intro, I mentioned that you can easily dub your video into many other languages. If you wanna do this, go ahead and type here, something like dub this video into Spanish, change both the voice over and captions. 
Once you've typed in your command, click on generate just like before, and it will now translate and dub the video into the language that you chose. The change has been made and we can preview the video here to see how it sounds. Todo el mundo busca el pez más grande del mar, pero ¿qué hay del más grande de todos los tiempos? That's me fluently speaking Spanish, which I have no idea how to do, but it sounds fantastic. Now, that sounds great, but I do want to export this video in English, so I'll click on the undo button right here to undo that change. Once you've made all of your revisions, edits, and changes, and you're happy with your video and you're ready to export, click on the download button here, and then click on download video. From here, you can configure your download settings. I'm going to go with no watermarks, no NVIDIA AI branding, and a 1080p resolution. And at the very bottom here, you can see how many stock footage licenses this export will use. It's going to use two iStock licenses, and I have a total of 80. When you're happy with your settings and you're ready to export, click on continue at the bottom. And now NVIDIA will export your video. And once the video is ready, I can choose to share it with others by clicking on the share button seen here or I can choose to download the video to my computer by clicking on the download button. You've generated your first video with NVIDIA AI. This is an incredibly powerful tool that allows anyone to become a video editor. You don't have to rely on technical skills or software, you truly just have to use your imagination. If you have any questions about NVIDIA, make sure you leave them in the comments. I try to respond to as many as I can. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this video helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.